Welcome to the first not devlog. I talked about this in the previous devlog, how I'm using this as a buffer episode so that way I can start releasing videos on Friday instead of Monday at midnight. So a couple of my inspirations for Sick Transit are fairly obvious. Titanfall and Mirror's Edge. This will seem like a tangent, but I swear there's a point to it. At one of my old jobs, I would commute three to four hours a day. I'd get back and after dinner, I'd want to play a game, of which at the time I was playing Titanfall but I'd just be too exhausted and I know that I'd be trash. So instead of replaying the campaign or doing frontier defense, I'd just put on a podcast or relaxing music, start up a private match and practice moving around. And there's something about Titanfall. Wall running and grappling make you look at the level geometry differently. Walls become pathways and without the danger of being one shot by tones, just moving about a map like Glitch or War Games is really enjoyable. Mirror's Edge, the other obvious inspiration. I remember I got it for the Xbox 360 back in the day, used for like $10. Great deal, great game. A lot of YouTube video essayists talk about this and if you play it, you know what I'm going to say flow. There's something about looking at the map and running your path. All executed cleanly, just the right challenge. And yeah, the combat's kind of shitty and the story's kind of dumb, but whew, it'll hook you. Those sewers. And speaking of kind of dumb story, Death Stranding. I'm built different and so I really enjoy just delivering things. Similarly to Titanfall, once you play it for a bit, it clicks and you'll start seeing paths throughout the level. But instead of running on walls, you're finding something so that way Sam won't trip. And I really enjoy how you'd be free to make your own path in Death Stranding. I didn't film this, but once I took a huge order thinking I'd just be able to motorcycle to the delivery point, but I ended up having to ruck out six ginormous crates. And you know, I'm only taking one trip to get all the groceries, so god, it was a huge mess, but it was a lot of fun. Enough video games. I also really enjoy board games. I usually play with my friends every weekend, and all together we've got about like four dozen games. In particular, I like hidden role games. Think Love Letter, Secret Hitler, and Coup. I like that instead of being rules heavy, there's more of a social dynamic to it, and it encourages you to play with the other people, both game-wise and psychologically. Put it all together, and I imagine Sick Transit to be a game where you have solid movement mechanics, which I like to think I already implemented. We play as a messenger, delivering messages between multiple NPCs, essentially playing a hidden role game. And if I get the AI right, it did consider your actions, because you could of course choose to deliver a message to the wrong person, or not deliver it at all, meaning you'd also be a player in the game. At the moment, I don't foresee any combat because, uh, you know, just like those private match Titanfall 2 games, I want them to be nice and chill. And of course I'd randomize NPC roles following the first playthrough, so that way there'd always be that part of the hidden role game where you try to figure out who's who and play accordingly. Setting wise, I'm looking at some of my favorite author's works. Peter Watts's Freeze Frame Revolution is a really clever novella. I won't spoil it, but the characters in it use secret messages to get around surveillance. Wow, messages! Peter Watts is really cool. You can actually go on his website and he has a lot of his books on there for free. Like five or six of them, he's great. The other author is Gene Wolfe. I learned about him following his death in 2019. I'm looking at things like The Long Sun and The Book of the New Sun, where humanity is so far flung in the future, humanity has in fact regressed. And aside from some details, it's, it would seem as though it were medieval times. And I'm a history enthusiast, so I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Hence the name, Sic Transit Gloria Mundi, thus passes the glory of the world. But who knows, everything is subject to change. I gotta practice my artwork until it's good enough to execute on what I imagine. I don't know if I said it before, but this is my first time using Unreal Editor. I did a lot of stuff in Unity, so I'm used to that workflow. But there's a lot of learning process to everything new I do in UE4. Hopefully, like with audio, it's all pretty easy to do, but you know, I'll see. And don't worry, there is bread this week, but first I'm gonna show myself. You can of course check me out on Twitter. Uh, that's at dev underscore Natsu. I'll of course include the link in the description. And if you liked the video, I hope you liked it. And I hope you had a good day and I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please like, and if you want to follow development, consider subscribing. I'm posting videos every week, most of them devlogs. But enough about that. Let's look at the bread. So, this is my second attempt at Shibata, and I think it's definitely a step in the right direction compared to those first two loaves. I shaped it prior, just before popping it in the oven, and you know, I did not use the oven stone, which I think is 
a huge difference. Like, I don't think it transfers heat well. That's why I say it's cursed. But yeah, uh, so again, this, like all of my other breads, I, of course, used my own sourdough starter, my own yeast. And, of course, you know, you should make your own bread. And, you know, it's, it doesn't always work the first time, but there's nothing wrong about that. It tastes good all the same. And, you know, it's good bread. It's good for you. And, I, you know, it's a great way to relax, a great way to spend the weekend. And, you know, I take it over to my friends to share, and they love it. It's great. Make your own bread. It's great. It's good for you. Have a good day.